Hello, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little mini uh, flower pot photo holder. It's really easy. Um, first, I'm going to use our large flower punch, and this was in um, the Occasions mini catalog, but you can still get it. It's a catalog write in, so you can still order this. And I'm just going to punch a flower out of some of our Island Oasis designer series paper. Then I have our five petal flower punch and I'm going to punch one with rose red cardstock and one with tempting turquoise. Then I'm going to just use a pin and kind of curl up the edges of these petals. Okay. Then I'm going to use my paper piercer and pierce a hole in the middle of the rose red flower. Then I'm going to put um, a designer brad. These are the flower designer brads. I'm going to put one of those right in the middle. My pink flower. Then I'm going to use a glue dot. And I'm going to place this, the pink flower, in the middle of the blue. I'm just going to offset the petals. So that you have something that looks like this. Then I'm just going to place a couple of dimensionals on the back of here. place it in the middle of my large flower. Then I might just, I'm going to play with the leaves a little bit more to get them to stand up a little bit more. So that's the flower. Next you'll need a large paper clip and I think this is, this is a two inch paper clip and it doesn't matter what color, we're going to color, cover it up. You'll want to get um, a piece of cardstock that is four inches by one inch. This is rose red. I'm going to fold this in half. Then I'm going to put the paper clip on the edge of this paper we just folded, and I want the larger side to be on the inside. Here's the shorter side of the paper clip. I want the larger side on the inside. And then I have this, um, it's a piece of a wooden skewer that I got at the Dollar Tree over in the, um, like the picnic cookout summer section. And I just cut the ends off of it. Um, about five and four and a half to five inches is a good size, and I just use wire cutters to snip off the ends. And I'm I'm gonna lay it in the middle of the inside of this piece of paper with the larger end of the paper clip, just like this, so that I can seal it in so it'll be in the middle. Let me show you. Just put some sticky strip. all along Oops, the inside of this.
Okay, so lay the stick down till it's about halfway up and just fold the paper over and press down to seal it. Okay, so then the back is completely covered and on the front we just have this the smaller part of the paper clip. We're going to use a piece of rose red again at two and a half by half an inch. And we're going to fold this in half. It's pretty much the same process. We're just covering up the smaller um, paper clip and then we're also giving ourselves some kind of surface to adhere the flower to. So just slide this in under the paper clip. And this doesn't cover the entire bottom, but that's okay because you're not going to see the, the bottom of the paper clip once we get the flower decoration on. And then just another piece of sticky strip. And fold that over. So you have something that looks like this. I'm going to use a couple more dimensionals I'm going to stick, stick them right on this little cover that we just finished. And I'm going to stick the flower on there. And I want the flower to go more towards the bottom because when we put a picture in here, this top rose red cardstock won't show. If I put it up higher, the bottom of this would still show even if we had a picture. So just put it towards the bottom until you cover up the bottom edge of all of that paper clip and everything. So then you have something that looks like that. Next, I have this little um, mini flower pot that I found at a local craft store. I'm just going to fill it with some of these little rocks I found in the floral department of, of um, a craft store. I think you can get these pretty much anywhere. And you could also use maybe some marbles. And then I just stuck um, the flower down in that. Then when you put a picture in, that's what you have. Thanks for watching.